You've undergone a profound transformation, a metamorphosis of the soul. You've risen from the depths of low vibrational energy that once consumed you. This is not who you used to be. You've healed from past wounds, and through this healing process, you've achieved a deeper spiritual balance. You've found equilibrium in your soul, a balance that now radiates from within. The person you're connected with is profoundly affected by your transformation. They're losing sleep over you, their thoughts consumed by your presence in their life. They're analyzing their actions, decisions, and words, dissecting every moment and interaction to pinpoint where they went wrong. They're seeking answers, trying to understand how to correct their mistakes. They're wrestling with their ego and pride, striving to push these aside to make room for growth and understanding. Even if it's not obvious at first this person is experiencing a profound change, they are working to straighten out their life and address past mistakes. Their love for you remains strong, fueling their wish to reconcile. They long for another chance to set things right. This person is bearing the weight of their karma. They violated the soul contract, a sacred bond between two souls. By turning away from the blessings the universe offered, they rejected unconditional love, a love that demands nothing in return. Now they are dealing with the repercussions of their actions. Their betrayal has deeply affected you, but it has also made you more resilient and stronger than before. They are left in shock, unable to fully grasp the enormity of their actions. Now, they are emotionally hollow, filled with regret, a heavy burden they carry. They are experiencing severe depression, with their thoughts frequently returning to you. They miss you and long for your presence, feeling they have nothing left to lose. The most precious connection of their life, which brought happiness, bliss, and abundance, is gone. This connection was their source of joy, a guiding light, and, and its absence leaves them with a profound sense of loss. They are struggling to accept their reality, realizing the immense value of what they had and the significance of what they've lost. Through this painful lesson, they are learning that some things in life are irreplaceable, and you, my dear, are one of those things. I recognize the depth of your patience and the strength of your endurance. You've been waiting and fighting for our bond, while I've been unaware, letting you slip away into the abyss of distance. Realizing my actions, or lack thereof, has left me feeling drained and exhausted. The constant replay of our moments together, analyzing all the things I could have done better, all the things I should have done, is a relentless cycle that leaves me weary. Yet, amidst this turmoil, there's a glimmer of hope, a hope that these feelings of regret and guilt will eventually pass and that I'll be granted another chance, another opportunity to prove my love for you and bridge the gap that has grown between us. I long for the day when I can be close to you again, to feel the warmth of your presence and to bask in the glow of your affection. You may not be aware of the turmoil within me, the storm that was unleashed the moment I rejected your love. The past few months have been nothing short of torturous. Each day has been a struggle, a battle against my own emotions and guilt. I've been praying fervently for a sign from you, a hint that you still care, that there's still a chance for us. I've been waiting anxiously for a message from you, a word, a sentence, anything that would reveal your feelings towards me. I've been checking my phone every hour of every day, hoping to see your name flash on the screen. But all I've received is your silence, a silence louder than any words, echoing the pain of your heartbreak. I understand the heartbreak you must have felt because of my actions and behavior. I deeply regret not nurturing our connection with love and affection, allowing my anger, frustration, and jealousy to take over. These negative emotions clouded my judgment and tainted our relationship. I hate that I let my fears and insecurities control me and dictate my actions. Please don't misunderstand. I love seeing you happy. Your happiness brings me joy, and your achievements fill me with pride. I delight in everyone appreciating you and recognizing your worth and talents. Yet, despite all this, 
there's a fear that gnaws at me, a fear rooted in my insecurity, the fear that someone might come along and shower you with more love and care than I ever did, the fear that this person might give you everything that I failed to provide, that they might fulfill all your desires, cater to all your needs, and in doing so, they might take you away from me, leaving me alone with my guilt and regret. This fear, this insecurity, it's a constant companion, a reminder of my mistakes, my shortcomings. But it's also a motivator, a driving force that pushes me to strive for better, to become a person worthy of your love. When you decided to walk away, it signaled the start of a difficult period for your partner. This was not just any challenge, but one that deeply unsettled them. They had repeatedly caused you pain, taking actions specifically meant to make you despise them. These actions stemmed from their own insecurities and fears, not any fault of yours. However, once you chose to stop investing your time and energy into the relationship, they were forced to confront the damage they had caused. It was as if a mirror had been held up to their actions, revealing the extent of their mistakes. This was more than just the end of a relationship. It was a moment of reckoning for them, a time to face the consequences of their behavior. Your journey of transformation, or glow up as it is often called, was a deeply personal one. Hey, it was not a journey that was loud or public, but a quiet, introspective one. You focused on your healing, channeling your energy into overcoming the pain and emerging stronger. You sought growth not just in the material realm, but also in the spiritual realm. You strove for a balance, understanding that true growth is holistic and encompassing all aspects of life. Your partner, who had been a part of your life, could not remain oblivious to this transformation. They saw the changes in you, not just in your demeanor, but in your spirit. They saw the strength in your eyes, the confidence in your stride, and the peace in your smile. They realized that this was not the same person they had known, but someone who had evolved, grown, and become stronger. They could sense the strong angelic protection surrounding you. It was as if you had a shield around you, made of positive energy and divine blessings. They understood that your emergence from the darkness and pain required not only immense effort, but also blessings from the universe. It was a testament to your strength and resilience, proof of your ability to overcome adversity and emerge victorious. Justice, as the saying goes, is always served. For you, it arrived through personal growth and transformation. You didn't just survive the storm, you learned to dance in the rain. You profoundly impacted your partner's life, leading them to understand that they needed you more than any material achievements. They came to see that love and companionship are not about possession, but appreciation. They recognized they had lost something invaluable, something beyond material measure. In the end, your story is not just about a relationship or a breakup. It is about personal growth, about the journey from pain to healing, from darkness to light, it is a testament to the human spirit, to its resilience and its ability to transform. It is a story of hope, of how every ending is a new beginning, and how every setback is a setup for a comeback. It is a story that inspires, that reminds us that we are not defined by our circumstances, but by our response to them. And most importantly, it is a story that tells us that no matter how dark the night, the dawn is always just around the corner. My feelings for you are incredibly strong and intense, so much so that they permeate every aspect of my life. I find myself constantly distracted, my mind wandering to thoughts of you. The anticipation of your message consumes me, each ping of my phone sending a jolt of excitement through me, hoping it's you reaching out. Each time I distance myself, I eagerly anticipate my return to you, it's as if I'm caught in a gravitational pull, always finding my way back to you. After resolving my internal conflicts and confusion, I feel a sense of frustration. It's strange, wanting you to question my absence and ask for an explanation. Your concern seems to validate my feelings, making them feel more real. When you inquire about my past and my life, it stirs a whirlwind of emotions. It's a peculiar mix of discomfort and appreciation, 
It triggers memories I'd rather forget, yet I can't help but appreciate it. Your questions and curiosity show that you care and that you're interested in understanding me and knowing what shaped me into the person I am today. I realize my thoughts and words might confuse you. I often struggle to express my emotions and articulate my thoughts. It's a challenge I constantly grapple with, especially when trying to explain my experiences during periods of silence. In these times, I retreat inward, trying to make sense of my feelings. Despite these challenges, I deeply value your patience and understanding. Throughout this journey, you've shown me nothing but kindness and empathy. You effortlessly comprehend what I struggle to articulate, understanding my unsaid words and silent pleas. Your ability to see through my facade and grasp what I'm trying to convey is a true gift. I feel immense pride and gratitude knowing that someone like you loves me so deeply. It's comforting to know that I have someone who understands and accepts me, flaws and all. Your love is a beacon of hope in my life, guiding me through my darkest days. For that, I will always be grateful.